All right, we are here today with Dan Carmody, uh, president of the Eastern Market Corporation. How are you doing, Dan? Good, Ron. How are you today? I'm doing great. Um, Eastern Market is is such an important and uh, uh, dramatic success story in Detroit, and. Uh, over a number of years now, you have really been building out the capacity of the market. Shed 2, uh, Shed 3 have been so important in uh, building, rebuilding the foundation. And now uh, you're talking about a Shed 5 renovation that includes the concept of a shared kitchen that could be a sort of incubator. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, Eastern Market, uh, you know, recent improvements were an overnight success. We go back to 1891. 120 uh, years. 120-ish years. Uh, and, you know, the market has had good times and bad times throughout that. But despite some people's best interests it is, it, and best efforts, it has is, is persisted all those years. Uh, Shed 5 is an important project for us. It does three things for us. One, it, it rebuilds the home of our plant flower growers. The rear portion of that shed will be focused on plant flowers. And, Quite frankly, that's a really important piece of the market business. It's our spring is our busiest time, and they're the ones that have been hurt the most by the uh, depression. Uh, food is not as optional as flowers, so it just goes to sense that flower growers are hurting a little bit. We've lost a few of them over the last few years, so we're happy to provide a better sales facility for them. But the intriguing part from a long-term market development standpoint is the shared use community kitchen. Uh, that'll be in Shed 5, the front part towards the street. And it will provide us a space to do really three different things. One is um, to be able to continue the incubation of people making specialty food products. Three or four years ago, there were no specialty food products at Eastern Market. Today, if you go there on average Saturday, there's 40-ish vendors selling everything from pickles to pierogies to pasta to custard pies. And uh, we think that's really important from a job creation standpoint going forward. Some of those entrepreneurs uh, have access to kitchens, others don't. Uh, we have a guy that sells 400 pounds of sausage a week because that's how much he can make in the time he borrows from a restaurant kitchen he can get his gets access to. The, the corridor, guys. Yeah. And so the shared use community kitchen will provide a space for those entrepreneurs to rent in three or four hour blocks to perfect their formulas, to grow their business so they get the point uh, where they can get the financial resources together to build their own kitchen because they're going to need it more than we can afford to rent it to. So it's another step in their evolution. Um, the successful community kitchens we've seen uh, tend to rent to caterers and to people making specialty foods for farmer market sales. And so those facilities tend to be dark on Saturday mornings when people are resting between their catering gigs or they're out selling at farmer's markets. That's the time we put 30 to 40,000 people through past this space on a, our peak Saturdays. So we want to have the 9 o'clock class for diabetics, the 10 o'clock class for teenage pregnant moms, the 11 o'clock class for balding fat white guys. Um, whatever whatever it is, it's a, it, beca it becomes a place where we can conduct a lot of educational programming around healthy eating. Yes. And so we think that's important. So we have really one of the most important urban agriculture movements in the city of Detroit uh, globally. It's of great significance, and I know what is on a lot of people's minds is how do we leverage that foundation of all those gardens and farms to the next level of creating opportunity for uh, value-added, uh, private-label, specialty food companies so we begin to really create another layer, another level of uh, economic opportunity. And that's, that's where the market can play a role as a hub, and so this shared use communication is just one aspect of that build out of, of food processing and distribution and food retailing. So when people talk about urban agriculture, I think that's a, it's a really poorly chosen term because it limits your thinking to really the, just the growing of food. We think the jobs are as, as much or more in the, the production and processing and distribution and retailing side. So Eastern Market is an important hub for that activity. The communication is one piece. Another piece we're working on is creating a network of existing food manufacturers and service businesses, getting them together with government agencies that can help them grow faster, better, quicker, sooner. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, food is the second largest industry in the state of Michigan. Uh, and uh, we just, we, we are like second in the country in terms of crop diversity, 150 crops growing within the state of Michigan, but we're like 24th in terms of the number of jobs in food processing. So there's a lot of opportunity here for those specialty food products uh, to
to flourish in the city of Detroit. Especially, we think, without, without all the national retailers, that actually provides an opportunity rather than a threat yeah. uh, because uh, we can connect with people and they can uh, support their neighbors' uh, food products, literally. Mm -hmm. I wanted to touch on two other things. Uh, one is that you have some plans in the works for a Sunday market, which would be substantially different and really an expansion of kind of the mission and the scope of what the market has done, probably historically, but certainly in recent times. Can you talk about uh, what you're thinking about on Sunday now? Well, the, the market is a huge um, asset to the city of Detroit. It, it's a, it's a, we put millions of dollars into the shed, so one of the important functions is to leverage that investment and make better use of those facilities. And so the Sunday is the second largest shopping day after Saturday, and we think it's important to build the market as a destination on a Sunday in a way that would help benefit the whole district the whole market campus. And to do that, we think we have to develop a market concept that isn't just a copy of the Saturday market because, first of all, I don't know if we can get 250 farmers to show up. they got to have a time to rest and they have a time to farm. Uh, so it, the, just replicating the Saturday market, which is 85% about food and maybe 15% about other stuff, probably not likely. So the thought process is, what can we do on Sunday that's almost completely opposite from the Saturday market, 85% about stuff and maybe 15% about food and that stuff would be maybe using Shed 3 for example our premier indoor shed as a place for the sale of antiques and collectibles and flea market items uh, and Michigan made arts and crafts as a featured item and inside Shed 5 with its shared use community kitchen that could actually be the home of S Detroit's most signature Sunday brunch where we try to do another outreach around food engagement uh, engage the faith community both their kitchen people and the chorus people to sing spiritual music as entertainment while the kitchen people conspire with area chefs to repackage some of our favorite Sunday recipes maybe they're a little more healthy eating and have this dialogue around how to change our diet and improve our public health. Great. So we think those are the component parts of a Sunday market that would be completely different but maybe as successful as the Saturday market. In the, in the kitchen, the shared kitchen space uh, figures prominently both in the Sunday aspect as well as uh, the incubation side of it. Yeah, the, 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 the shared use community again, kitchen again, incubation, education, and catering facilities for particularly events on market but also for caterers that just want a conveniently located kitchen in central Detroit. And if people want more information about any of these uh, new plans, want to be part of the planning, want to participate, how can they reach you? best way is to go through our website, which a lot of this information is contained on. That's www.DetroitEasternMarket.com. Dan, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Ron.